and welcome back to the full one on tech about a month ago we did a video sharing with you our favorite accessories for the nintendo switch well today we wanted to share with you our favorite accessories for the playstation 5. so if you've had an opportunity to get your hands on a ps5 and you're looking for some new accessories to enhance your gaming experience stick around because we're going to get into it right after this There's nothing more frustrating than sitting down to play a game and you realize that your controller is about to go dead because you forgot to charge it. So for that we have the DualSense charging station. Now you could just use the included USB-C charging cable that came with the PS5, but then you have to deal with another pesky cable and it's just not as convenient, especially if you don't remember where you put the cable, which has happened to us on more than one occasion. So this is nice, we just leave it here right next to the PlayStation 5 and have it hooked up and then when we're done gaming we just put the controller back on the charging station and then it's all set ready to go and fully charged for our next gaming session now this is made by sony so it's going to perfectly go along with the design aesthetic of the ps5 if you're looking to match your you know setup and what's really nice is it charges not just one controller but two as you can see so you have two controllers charging at the same time and they also charge just as quickly as if you were to use that USB-C cable and plug it in and charge it directly into the PlayStation 5. So you're not missing out on anything there. It also has a nice rubber base too, so it's not gonna slide around on you or slide off the table or anything when you go to put the controller on. Now there's also some third-party options available that are cheaper, but the look and the quality isn't gonna be the same, so that's something to consider. But this has definitely been a great accessory for us, making sure that we always have our controllers charged up and ready to go at a moment's notice. So if you don't have one of these, definitely recommend picking this up. Another great accessory that uh, you should get is definitely to get um, an M.2 internal SSD. Uh, since Sony's opened up the uh, firmware to allow those to be supported, there's a number of um, SSDs that'll work to make sure you want to get a Gen 4 and you want to make sure it has the correct read and write speeds. The one we have is the Samsung uh, 980 Pro 2 terabyte. Now it's currently going for 269, so that's more than half the price of the console. But these next gen games, they do take up a lot of space and having the extra storage once you burn through the 680 or so uh, gigabytes of the, uh, the storage that comes with the PlayStation, that can go pretty quickly. Uh, you know, with just a few of these games, they're pretty large. I think Gran Turismo 7 is like over 100 gigs. Yeah. So definitely having that additional storage is nice. And when we got ours, uh, we had to install the heatsink ourselves. And now I think for like an extra 15 bucks or so, you can get uh, the 980 Pro, Samsung 980 Pro uh, with the heatsink already installed. So you don't have to install it. And it's a simple process. We have a video uh, showing how to install it. We'll leave that in the description below, but definitely uh, you're going to be playing a lot of these next year's games as this is like the uh, second year of the console. So more games are coming out. You're going to, you know, there wasn't a lot at launch, but now there's more great games coming out. You're definitely going to need some additional storage. And I think two terabyte, as far as like price, is like a good uh, sweet spot. One terabyte is like 149. So that's even an option. And I believe Sabrin has something that's like four terabyte, but that, I think pricey. that's like really <laughs> pricey. I think that's like over 500. So I think the two terabytes a pretty sweet spot. If not, definitely get the one terabyte, but adding uh, additional storage is definitely uh, an accessory that you're gonna wanna have. Next, let's talk about audio for a few minutes. Now you definitely want some good audio to go along with that next gen console. You spend your hard earned cash to get it and you've used up all your blood, sweat and tears to try to get a hold of a PlayStation 5. So why not treat yourself and get some nice audio? Now, one of the cheapest or easiest solutions is to just pick up a gaming headset. So we have here the Pulse 3D wireless headset. Now these are made by Sony as well. So again, it's gonna nicely match with the aesthetic of the PlayStation 5. And they also have full support for the PlayStation 5's Tempest 3D audio. So you'll get that feel like you have sounds coming from all around you, which is a really nice experience. And the overall sound quality of these is pretty good as well. And there's also a built-in equalizer so you can change the sound profiles to your liking. And if you do a lot of in-game chatting, there's also dual noise canceling mics. 
So if you're chatting, the noise cancellation is nice to block out some of that background noise. And comfort wise, they're pretty comfortable as well. They have this nice band here that perfectly adjusts to the size of your head and it doesn't put any pressure on your head at all. So it feels good. There's also a good amount of cushion for the ear cups. So very nice. Now, if you have another $80 to shell out, you can upgrade to something like the SteelSeries Arctis 7P Plus wireless headset. We don't have it, or, you know, we have these, so we just stuck with this for now. But SteelSeries makes some really great headphones. We have the Siberia 840s, and I absolutely love those. So it's a really good brand. And they also partnered with Sony to make the 7P Plus wireless headset specifically for the PlayStation 5. So it's also going to have full support for that Tempest 3D audio. But what's really nice about it is you get 30 hours of battery life as opposed to 12 hours with these. So for $80, you get more than double the battery life and you also get Bluetooth support. So these are just wireless and they come with a dongle so you can't pair them up with a Bluetooth device. But with the Steel Series, you can pair it up to say your phone and listen to music on the go. They have a really nice design and style to them as well. So these are two good headsets for the PlayStation 5 to check out if you're looking to upgrade your audio on the lower end of the scale. And speaking of audio, another if you don't want to do headset, having a nice soundbar system. It's nice because a lot of the games are coded, um, you know, in 5.1 or 7.1. Uh, sound field and some of them, you know, are even going to support Sony's uh, Tempest Audio. Now they haven't done it for like um, uh, sound bars and AV systems yet, but it, it is coming. Um, so once they do it, you know, the, the sound bar will be able to support that Sony uh, spatial audio format. And this is really nice. It has 18 drivers uh, and you can uh, do a 541, so that's, you know, five channels, surround channels, and then the point one is the subwoofer sounds pretty nice. So you're going to get those nice rattles like in games so those a low frequency sounds. And then you have four up firing speakers. Uh, these, ro you know, the Vizio Elevate, these rotate and it'll bounce the sound off the ceiling back down at you. And the, the rear satellite speakers also have um, an up firing speaker. So get really nice sound when Michelle's playing like Horizon. It sounds really nice. Other games that sound nice as well. And if you want to watch some movies on your PlayStation or Netflix or something like that, you have like a nice uh, home theater kind of sound coming out of the soundbar system. And it also supports Dolby Atmos and DTSX. So those spatial audio formats are supported. It has Chromecast and it has um, Alexa integration built into it. So having a soundbar paired with your PlayStation 5 is definitely an accessory that you might want to look at because you can play it on the TV speakers, but like all the sound engineers, uh, you know, the work that they put into these games to create those uh, environments and uh, scenes in the game, you just get like a, a more immersive experience when you're experiencing that sound and you can hear the distinct sounds coming from different speakers around the room as you're playing. It really adds to the gameplay immersion. So this is the one we got. It occasionally goes on sale. Uh, we got it for uh, $700, so we got $300 off. It's originally a thousand. It's originally a thousand. So if you can catch it on sale, uh, I would definitely recommend that. But these sound bars can go like way up in price. So I think this one is uh, a good sweet spot between, uh, uh, you know, Dolby Atmos and not spending like $1,500 or $2,000 on the sound bar. At that point, I think you should get like a, a dedicated uh, receiver and speakers set up around the room but this one's not too bad and it, and it packs a really great sound all right so we got audio covered we have to talk about video so here we have our lg c9 55 inch oled tv yes we're calling it an accessory it is more expensive than the playstation 5 but you definitely want to have nice a nice picture to go along with your next gen console so we've had OLEDs for a while now. They're really great. You get those nice inky blacks and the good contrast. So especially when you're playing games that have more of a dark theme, you're really going to see how well an OLED can handle that. You're not getting the, the muddy, the muddy you you get know, a lot of grays and all that shadow stuff. Shadow detail is really great on an yeah. OLED. Yeah. And what's nice about the LG is it supports HDMI 2.1 and it has four HDMI 2.1 ports. So that's really nice. Some TVs don't have that many. Um, and then so you're getting the 4K up to 120 hertz. 
VRR, auto low latency, instant game response. You're getting all those features. Also low input lag. And because it's the OLED, the viewing angles are pretty good too. So if you have a lot of friends over playing a game, no matter where they sit, they shouldn't have a problem viewing it. So definitely a really great, you know, accessory. <laughs> we'll still call it accessory yeah. to add to your setup. And I think in the next week or so, or they might've already done it, is the PlayStation 5 is going to support VRR. So again, definitely nice that this TV supports that. And also these LG uh, televisions, um, like maybe now you can't you can't get the C9, but the C1. Uh, check out the My Life in Gaming video. Uh, Tri did a, a really good video on an LG to get, and the C1 is really good, especially if you want to do some retro gaming. Yeah. As far as you know, supporting those weird resolutions of the older consoles and not having lag. Um, the LG TVs are pretty good. The C1. Uh, the C2, not so good if you watch uh, the My Life and Gaming video, but the mm -hmm. C1 will support those retro consoles, and you'll also get um, all the features for the next-gen consoles on that as well as Michelle had mentioned. All right, so next up, another great accessory we've really been enjoying is the PSVR. This thing is awesome. It's super comfortable. It has that nice halo design. There's some good experiences and games for the PlayStation VR too, like Astrobot and stuff like that. So we've really been enjoying it, but really you want to hold out and wait for the PSVR 2. Now, allegedly that's supposed to come out this year, probably at the end of the year, I don't know. But uh, pre-orders, it's kind of been rumored that they might be coming out soon, so check those out. But the new one, I just went to go over the specs because it's sounding like it's going to be really awesome. So this one, OLED screen, it's going to have 2000 by 2040 per eye uh, resolution, 90 to 120 hertz refresh rate, 110 degrees field of view, and it's going to have vibration on the headset. So there's going to be some kind of haptics involved. So, you know, it's all still kind of new. They don't even have official photos out for it yet, really, or anything like that. Um, these are just the specs that we saw off the, the blog, um, PlayStation blog. So definitely, again, a great accessory that we've been enjoying, but hold out for that PSVR too. So another accessory that you might want to get <laughs> is uh, like Sony has their uh, face plates or plates for the PlayStation, but we got the Colorado ones. Now they're a little bit more expensive, uh, you know, over double the price. I think the PlayStation ones are like 40 but these you can customize and like flat uh, paint, you can get uh, metallic, uh, they have a, a, a lot of colors you can mix and, mix and match, so we went with like a Spider-Man theme. And one we have, uh, we like the red a little bit better and this one's not uh, metallic but the blue is. And they don't fit on as nice as the PlayStation uh, plates, but we did get them on, but the quality is a lot nicer and you have uh, more options. And we also have like a center carbon uh, decal to put on here that we'll, we'll show in the B-roll so that it'll be white. So you can really customize and it just gives your PlayStation like a customized look. There's no PlayStation logo on it. So it's, um, you know, it has like a clean look look to it. And I just think it, you know, it gives your PlayStation a little bit pop. You know, it'll be different than every other PlayStation out there. And Colorware, they, they really do good. I mean, it's like an automotive finish. Uh, the, yeah. the level of detail and the quality of these plates is really nice. And it comes uh, packaged really nice, so it should make it through shipping without getting damaged. So those are the accessories that we think that you might want to pick up if you've been able to snag a, a PlayStation. Now, I know like uh, Jake Randall said on his video that Target, they'll be releasing like uh, PlayStation 5s every day. So if your target has it in stock, you might be able to snag it. So yes. hopefully it's getting a little bit easier to get uh, a PlayStation. And definitely, if you're still trying to get one, uh, watch uh, Jake Randall's YouTube channel when he does the live streams, when they drop, and go on his Twitter so you can be notified when uh, the PlayStation 5 drops so you can pick one up. But if you want to enhance your experience, definitely these are some accessories you might want to be looking at. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Please do remember to subscribe, comment, and like. It helps the channel grow. And we enjoy bringing this content to you guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.